You probably haven't heard of this little guy, the Canon PowerShot SD4000IS, and the reason is it was just announced on Monday, but we have the full review because we're InfosyncWorld.com and we get stuff done. We have a little compact that's about the size of a smartphone. Um, it has a new 10 megapixel back illuminated CMOS sensor, and it has a bright f2.0 aperture. Uh, meaning it soaks in more light, but it has a more narrow depth of field. And this camera also has Canon's latest Digic DV4 processing. So the biggest item on the menu was this camera's low light capability. If you shoot in any mode except aperture priority, it's usually going to pick a an f2.0 or an f2.8, somewhere between 2 and 3. So it's automatically going to opt for a shallow depth of field. And that's just because it's trying to suck in as much light as it can. This camera will boost the ISO in any questionably low lit environment. So ISO 540, 800, occasionally 1600 are very popular when you're shooting with this camera. Even though there's no manual mode, we do get an auto mode. Um, aperture priority and shutter priority are, are pretty decent. Um, because we have a shutter speed that goes down to 15 seconds and an f2.0 to f8.0 aperture range. And we also have Canon's color accent and Canon's color swap modes to shoot in, as well as the new miniature effect and fisheye effect. But one of our favorite modes to shoot in was a video mode. It's a new mode called Super Slow Motion, and it's 240 frames per second, 320 by 240 resolution and it's not as refined as the Casio XLM cameras when it comes to slow motion but it's a start video quality pretty much matched the other power shots in this range when it came to bright light um, low light was slightly improved we definitely noticed an improvement as far as noise noise was very minimal in, in low light overall this camera noise has been improved in low light and that's that's I think the biggest thing size wise this camera is very beneficial because it's tiny you could throw it right in your pocket um, external controls are really limited we just have this control dial on the back so we're reasonably baffled with the Canon PowerShot SD 4000 IS on one hand we really like the back illuminated uh, low light friendly technology however we're not sure that throwing it in a chassis like this with limited camera controls having no manual mode was the best option for it, was the best home for it. We think that if Canon put a sensor like this in the PowerShot SX210 IS or a more advanced camera, then we would see something pretty impressive because then we can adjust the aperture so it's not so shallow and uh, do that manually using manual mode. But for now, for, for shooting group shots at night, we're seeing this as more of a party camera more of a um, nightlife camera because of the shallow depth of field and it's very conducive to low light environments like the club, um, like, the, like the city at night. So this is the Canon PowerShot SD4000 IS and this is one of the first reviews on this guy from infosyncworld.com. I'm Mike Perlman.